guys, Irene here. Today I'm going to show you guys behind the scenes of the family photo shoot that I did recently. I don't really do these kind of photo shoots anymore, but I did them when I started doing photography and I thought this is going to be useful for some of you guys that are thinking of starting to do family photo shoots. Huge thank you to the beautiful family from today's photo shoot that agreed to be on YouTube. And let's just get started with the video. I decided to start really easy and photograph just the couple at first. Their little boy Tigran is three years old, which is probably one of the toughest years to photograph, especially if they're boys. So I wanted him to kind of run around and be playful and start off with that rather than making him do things. And then when he was happy, we decided to get him in on the images. Working with kids is actually really hard, so get ready and be patient. As you can see, Tigran was not having it here, so I actually grabbed the ball that he was playing with, and so I was able to get his attention. I actually would highly recommend bringing a vibrant toy that makes a lot of sound for the photo shoot. That way, if you hold it, you'll be able to get the kids' attention and get them to look into your camera. By the way, this is very standard for kids of his age group to misbehave and cry like that. So you have to constantly make them happy, tickle them, play with them, make them laugh, maybe give them something to hold in their hands to distract them. One of my favorite ways to get those more natural non-posed images is to just play around, maybe pick up the baby, twirl it around and just in general have fun. Another trick is just to simply tickle the baby, it will get everyone laughing and looking happy in the picture. In the middle of the shoot, I actually decided to give Tigran a little break and in the meantime, I photographed his parents. Finally, he got bored playing by himself, so he actually joined in on the picture. So here again, I'm just asking the parents to interact with the baby, pick him up, play with him. This was the only way that I could really get all of them in the picture being happy and smiling. In the meantime, I'm just firing out the shots. It's kind of a spray and pray situation, unfortunately, but this is what you have to do when you literally have seconds when the baby is smiling and not crying. I also took some portraits of Janat for her website. She is actually a family photographer. I will link her in the description down below if anyone wants to check out her work.
And last but definitely not least tip that I'm gonna share with you guys today is to simply go on Pinterest and look up family photoshoot for some inspirations. This really helps if you're not used to posing people. You can save some of the images on your phone and then reference the poses during the photoshoot. Also for your first time, I would definitely recommend to just practice on your friends and family first. This will give you a lot of confidence when working with clients in the future. And lastly, have fun, be accommodating and patient. Just remember that the parents are probably stressing out even more than you. So make sure that they're having a great time and a great experience. enjoyed this video thank you guys so much for being my models today You're thank welcome. you so much for posing for me hey. thank you so He's much like, for being our photographer oh yeah no problem tigran's like i'm i'm happy this is done right <laughs> yeah let's go home he's tired give this video a like if you liked it subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys in my next video bye, bye. bye.